Hello everyone, welcome to Laptop Repair Zone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series laptop not turning on. So let's try to fix it. Please subscribe. Let's take out the motherboard from this laptop. It will take some time. Okay, this is the motherboard. No liquid damage or burning sign on this board. This motherboard name is Kedar Intel MB FX3MC. Let's check step by step. At first, I will remove the CMOS battery because in this motherboard, after remove the CMOS battery, it should turning on if there is no other problem so i remove it now i will plug it in okay plugged in but not spinning the fan no ampere also taking so it's it's still not turning on so let's try to find out why is not turning on at first i will check DC in voltage okay 19 volt is present in DC port okay here also 19 volt is present now check 3 volt and 5 volt Okay, 5 volt is present. Three point three volt also present. Now I will open the schematic for this motherboard. Okay, let's find power and sequence in this schematic. Okay okay as you can see power and sequence page number 96 so at first i need to check vcc rtc voltage so let's check which is rtc voltage location where this voltage is come from so as you can see this should be name rtc underscore aux underscore s5 so you need to check where this voltage come from okay as you can see d2501 so we need to find d2501 location on motherboard okay here d2501 so let's check okay 3 volt R rtc s5 is present here also 3.3 .3 volt s5 is also present so let's go back to power and sequence again and check what is next Okay. 
zoom in okay next voltage is R rtc reset signal so we need to check rtc reset signal is present or not let's find out oops this signal comes from where next okay as you can see here rtc underscore rst so we need to find g1901 okay let's check on motherboard okay as you can see here g1901 so here should be three volt present okay no voltage is present here so in this motherboard rtc reset signal is missing so this voltage come through this resistor rtc s5 let's check this is rn1901 so let's check okay three volt is present here so other side of this register no voltage no rtc reset signal is present so here okay let's check okay here also three volt present okay as you can see this capacitor connect with this rn1901 and as you can see i just okay as you can see this capacitor looks so dirty okay i try to zoom in see so i try to remove this capacitor okay okay remove Okay. remove the capacitor now let's check rtc reset signal is present or not plugged in as you can see fan is spinning ampere also taking that means this motherboard is turning on let's check okay rtc reset signal is present now so this capacitor may be short or leakage so now you know this motherboard non not turning on due to rtc reset signal missing so now i will check display Okay, plugged in. Okay, it's turning on. Okay, display also okay. So it successfully fixed this problem.